Alright, so this has been requested for a very, very solid amount of time. Um, I'm going to show you guys basically how to record on Mac. So, um, I basically put up a setup video and I showed I had an iMac. Um, I said that I use it mainly for uh, recording and stuff. Um, I actually boot camp it and use Windows, to be honest with you. However, um, that that's probably the best way to go but if you guys don't want to get into all that and starting to find windows installation flash drives and a bunch of other crap uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it natively on uh, OS 10 uh, I'm currently on OS 10.10 .10, uh, basically uh, Yosemite so you're pretty much all set that's my iMac uh, boom bam turkey and ham um, how this is gonna uh, work is there's a few there's a few de definitely a few programs you're gonna need I'm not gonna show you guys how to actually stream on Mac because once you get um, if you have an Elgato anyway uh, you're basically all set um, once you're able to get all the audio uh, configured properly you're all set and you'll be able to use any method of recording or streaming that you want I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it um, on the Elgato and you guys can pretty much branch off of that so let's get right into this you're gonna need to download a program I'll put the link in the description called Soundflower Bed okay uh, I know you guys have probably seen countless tutorials and it's fucking complicated as hell it's really not and I'm gonna fucking explain it um, so that way everybody gets it um, basically Soundflower Bed is a program that allows you to have um, let's let's take it like this let's say your computer has a headphone jack right soundflower bed creates virtual headphone jacks they're called line-ins okay so what I'm gonna do is basically show you how to use these in order to take the audio from your game your Skype call and your voice all into one recording so that way you can upload game battles commentaries and the, your teammates on Skype um, you can upload all of that stuff so how we're gonna do this let's get right into this first you're gonna have to install that program soundflower bed once you have installed you should probably restart your computer and then launch it and it'll be right up here make sure these settings are as follows just like this and yeah that's that um, you, you don't really have to change anything in there where everything comes in is in this you'll only have one line in to start with what you want to do is, uh, here, I'll, here I'll do it in real time for you guys, let me just get rid of these, uh, we'll move these to trash. Uh, you're going to start with only one, and I highly recommend, like I did here, I created a live streaming folder for all of this. Um, I would strongly recommend that you guys do that, uh, just create a live streaming folder or a uh, recording folder or whatever, um, and put a line in, in there. And then what you want to do is right click on that and then copy line in and simply paste it again then you'll have a line in copy uh, and then you honestly just keep pasting these you'll have three line ins line in uh, copy two line in copy and then the original line in you can rename these if you want to line in two and three like I had before anyways as long as you have three of these you just want to open every single one of them up so we have one line in here like so there are updates, so I would recommend installing those, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll update that later. I would recommend doing that, by the way. Anyways, uh, we'll do that later. Let's put this over here, and then we're going to open up our copy of Line In, and we're going to put that over there, and then we're going to open up the third copy of Line In, and that is going to probably be right on top of that, just like that. If you guys get confused like that, try to drag off of them because sometimes the uh, windows will pop up on top of each other. I don't really know why that happens, but it does. Anyways, um, yeah, so you have this. You're pretty much good. You have all three of them open. You can get rid of this. So now what? You have three line-ins and you have your Elgato. Your, as long as your Elgato is configured, you should be good. Now there's a there's two channels in line in. There's a line in 16 channel and there's a two channel. That's basically how it works. Um, there's going to be inputs and outputs and then to turn the um, line in on you just hit pass through. So here's the ideal configuration. You guys can pretty much just copy this and it'll work fine. In Skype, you want to make sure uh, 100 Anyways, um, 
to get back to everything, Skype was being retarded, so I do apologize for that. But anyways, how this is going to work is you are going to want to go to your Skype preferences like so. Take a look at me there. And uh, yeah, you can see your set your microphone to whatever. And then ringing, uh, keep to your built-in output um, or headphones or whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't really matter. And then your speakers, okay? Speakers is basically where all the voice of your Skype call is. You're going to want to set that to 16 channel. And then you're all set with that. You can get out of Skype. Make sure that's 16 channel. And then we're going to get back over here. Your three line ins. To be honest, we really only need two for this method. However, the third one's going to be used if you want to use something like OBS or uh, I think it's called Screen Encoder or something like that. I don't really know. Streaming on Mac is extremely complicated, so I would just strongly recommend using this and just stream uh, right through the Mac like so. Stream command for Mac. Um, that, if you guys didn't know, if uh, you guys are PC users, maybe you have a PC and you would know this. Um, there's a function on the Mac where you can have a webcam and a bunch of other stuff. Um, you could have a webcam, you could have overlays, and it's great. They didn't release it for Mac yet, unfortunately. Um, there's a beta that some people got their hands on and it looks amazing. It's basically the same thing as Windows um, on Mac. So we're still waiting on that to come out. They announced it in like fucking August and they still haven't put it out. Um, shame on Elgato right there. But anyways, that's that. And let's get um, into these settings here. So uh, we're going to ignore this line in for now. Uh, we're just going to leave this. Just, okay, just get the fuck out of here, you stupid fucking line in. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ignore that for now. If you guys want a like extremely, extremely in-depth tutorial for that, I mean, it, it's it's pretty fucking complicated. I I wouldn't even try streaming like uh, with that encoder software, and then you need like uh, I think it's called like VidCap. There's so many different programs you need. It's not even worth it. There is OBS for Mac, but it doesn't work with Elgato yet, and it, it's a big, big, big process. Your best bet definitely is um, just simply using the Elgato software itself. Anyways, back to this. Um, you're going to want to make sure, because this is going to be unchecked for you guys right here. Uh, Soundflower 16 channel to headphones, pass through. Soundflower 16 channel to 2 channel. Basically, what you're doing by doing this, okay, is you are going to send all of the audio from your computer into the stream and into your headphones so that, that way you can hear your friends Skype is set to 16 channel so Skype let's pretend 16 channel is Skype is gonna go to your headphones and Skype is gonna go to the stream so what we're gonna do is set this to shoot channel your live commentary make sure you turn on live commentary down here just like that also the um, what you're gonna wanna do is have another line in that's what this is for um, the, I meant to say four line ins originally. I do apologize about that. You're going to need your microphone, of course. How are they going to hear you? So you have your blue snowball or whatever fucking microphone you have. Pass through that. As you can see, I'm talking there. It'll pick up my voice. And I'm not playing anything right now here, so it wouldn't really uh, detect anything. But if I were to, let's say, let's, let's play this clip, you're going to see these bars move. That means the um, line ins picking up audio. See that? So that means there's all audio going to two channel, which is the stream, and uh, yeah, you're pretty much all set. Before you do anything else, though, however, this is the most important step. Go to your system preferences, and then here we'll go back for you guys. Uh, go to sound, and then go to your output. Okay, there's make sure this is set to 16 channel, or else you're not going to be able to uh, the stream won't be able to hear anything, and you're not going to be able to hear anything. This must be set to 16 channel. And this, these all must be set like this. Um, you would need a fourth fucking line in uh, to stream, and it would get super complicated um, for using like another program. Just simply have this set up and stream through this. That's what you're gonna want to do. Um, all audio on your computer, all Skype audio, and your microphone, all is gonna go into this program. Free to record, free to stream. 
you will be all set so I hope you guys did enjoy I hope this really did help you I know a lot of people have been like having a lot of trouble streaming on Mac and that really does suck because I know it is not the easiest thing in the world I really wish there was like an all-in-one solution to this however this is the best bet that you're gonna have um, like I said we'll just go over this one more time your computer audio and Skype audio is gonna go to your headphones so that way you can hear um, or you could also use speakers if you want. I, I wouldn't recommend that though because there's going to be echoes. Just use fucking headphones. Uh, yeah, that and then you're going to have a 16 channel uh, which is your Skype and your computer going to go to the stream and then you have your mic going to the stream. Skype is already going to have um, your mic set anyway in your preferences right in your microphone right here. So you don't have to have another line in for that. But um, yeah, that that's it man. That's it's really not that complicated as long as you don't have some retarded Indian guy trying to tell you how to do it. Um, I hope I did in fact help you guys. If you did, um, if I did, uh, just please leave a like. Uh, I'd be awesome. I really hope I can help a lot of as many people as possible. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.